Hi, and welcome to JD's Longbox. I'm your host, JD. In 1993, in the wake of the Death of Superman storyline, one possible replacement was revealed as Superboy, the Metropolis Kid. I was a big fan of this character since this was the storyline that really got me into comics, so when I heard that DC was doing a reboot, I rushed out to pick it up. Special thanks to We Can Be Heroes Comic Shop in Chatsworth, California for hooking me up with the last copy in the store. For this 60 second review, we're taking a look at Superboy, Man of Tomorrow number 1, published in 2023 by DC Comics. This version of Superboy was created by Carl Kessel and Tom Goumet based on the original Superboy created by Jerry Siegel. The writer was Kenny Porter, and the art was by Janoy Lindsay. As a part of DC Comics' soft reboot called Dawn of DC, the publisher is relaunching a number of their titles as a jumping on point for new readers, and more importantly as a course correction aimed at drawing back longtime fans that they have lost after years of meandering, confusing, and often divisive storylines. For this comic, they're bringing back the 90s era Superboy, aka Connor Kent, who is a half-human, half-Kryptonian clone that was made as a replacement for the original Superman during the Reign of the Superman storyline. After being shunted off to alternate futures and parallel universes, the story doesn't dwell too long on the fact that this Superboy has found himself in a rebooted universe where he never existed before. Instead, Superboy determines, and I agree, that there are too many supers flying around this Earth. So Superboy sets off for outer space. There he faces a Dominator scientist who has unleashed an army of cloned metahumans on an innocent planet. Superboy steps in to fight them off, but he may have captured the attention of the Dominator who would want to add Superboy's Kryptonian DNA to his clone army. I'm really glad that the art style is simpatico with the art from the new Superman relaunch. It really helps them feel like they're all in the same world. Janoy Lindsay draws Superboy to look a couple of years younger than when he was introduced by Tom Goumet in the 90s. While well, that Superboy came across very cocky, Lindsay's iteration comes off self-conscious and more prone to mistakes. This may be a byproduct of Lindsay's strong manga influence which really comes to light in the fight scenes. While vibrant, the colors often go too dark though, and the characters end up losing separation from the backgrounds. The writing gets an 8, the colors gets an 8.5, the inks gets an 8, and the pencils gets an 8.5. This adds up to an 83%. This looks to be setting up a great road trip adventure and I'm sure Superboy will learn some valuable lessons along the way. I hope you liked this 60 second review. If you want to see more of the Dawn of DC, check out my review of the new Superman number 1. And if you want to get a look at the first appearance of the 90s era Superboy, then check out my review of Adventures of Superman number 501. I'm JD, and until next time, this box is closed.